First thing I ever built in Minecraft. Made my way past the dozen or so dogs I had bred. And I went outside and I saw the first mob trap I ever tried building, which uh, I don't think ever worked. <laughs> um, next door, the house of an old friend I haven't spoken to since middle school. Above it, a floating island I spent days trying to make. A little up the hill, the second attempt at a mob trap, which I think I got working at some point, but I don't think it ever worked after that. And the entrance to a minecart rail that went on for miles. Underground, into caves over the water. That thing was insane. The, the magnum opus of the entire world. And slowly but surely, Sweden faded in. And I just started crying. Uh, they weren't they weren't sad tears, they weren't tears of joy. I wasn't overwhelmed. I don't know. I knew that all this world is, all this game is, is just a cleverly constructed sequence of ones and zeros, but I knew, I knew that, in, that a way, in a way, it's a part of me. This world is something that I will always hold dear to my heart. It's a window into the past, a reflection of the kid I was. It's just been sitting here, on the Xbox, unchanged since 2013, when I logged out for the last time. Unchanged since I started to become the man I am today. Minecraft the game is changing. Minecraft's audience changed a long time ago. The only thing that's really stayed static about it has been the music. You put me in some random world I've never explored. You can add weird new items I'll never know how to use, but to me, it's not really Minecraft until that music starts fading in. And I'm pulled back into a world when nothing really mattered, when everything was easy, and when I was happy.